everyone, so I'm here today with a birthday haul for you. I thought I would show you some of the things that I got for my birthday. My birthday was yesterday and I turned 20 for anyone who's interested. Um, I've never ever done a what I got for my birthday video before, so I thought as I've gone into a new decade of my life, I would do a video for you. I just got um, all of my goodies piled up next to me, so I'm just going to take them off the pile and I'll tell you who they're from. The first little bits that I got were from my mum and dad and they're kind of like a tradition. My mum always gets me new packs of socks and tights for my birthday because um, I always go back to school or back to university straight after my birthday and I always need new socks and I always need new tights so I always get some for my birthday. These socks were from Primark and they are two different three packs. I absolutely love the little frilly socks, I know that everyone's wearing them but I love them with boots and with my uh, vans and they're perfect for wearing with jeans as well in the autumn so I have a grey pair, a cream pair and a black pair and a pink pair which I absolutely love another grey pair and a darker grey pair another tradition is that I always get some pyjamas so these ones are from Primark and they're really cute little shorts they're a size 8 but they're absolutely massive so I hope they fit okay but I love the colour of them I love the frilly bit at the bottom and then the top is just a really simple grey vest top. Then I got something a little bit random and it was in the card from my brothers and it's a little bunny air freshener for my car. Um, I thought it was really cute and the money goes to the Alzheimer's Society so that's always a good thing to support. Next I got a couple of presents that I did actually pick out myself um, and I've framed them myself now even though my birthday was only yesterday. But they are literary postcards from the Literary Emporium, which is an online website, obviously. Um, and it has gifts for book lovers on there. And I really liked these postcards. They were £1.50 each, and I got three because I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. So I have this one. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. But um, it's a quote by Oscar Wilde, and it says, I am so clever that sometimes I don't understand a single word of what I'm saying. Um, I love Oscar Wilde and my boyfriend says things like that <laughs> a lot and it really reminded me of him so that's why I picked that one. Then I got one um, from Wuthering Heights which says whatever our souls are made of his and mine are the same. Some of the things that the protagonists say in that novel are some of the most romantic things I've ever read in my life even though the characters aren't actually that likeable um, but I really love this quote and yeah got that one. And finally I got one from one of my favourite books and I think it suits me down to a T and it's by C.S. Lewis and it says you can't get a cup of tea big enough or a book long enough to suit me. He wrote um, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and that's one of my favourite book series ever. I've read all seven of them. I think there are seven and you can't get a cup of tea big enough to suit me either or a book long enough so I had to have that one and I'm going to put them above my bookshelf in a line of three, they look really nice so very excited about those. Then my mum knows how much I love stationery so I got this lovely little notebook and a matching pen from Wilkinson's which is really really pretty. I can't wait to start using it, I'll have to think of a reason to use it. Then my mum got me something that I thought was really sweet and there was a lot of thought put into it and I believe it was from Amazon and it's called The Happy Book and the description says a journal to celebrate what makes you happy and the back says packed with creative and quirky prompts, ideas and activities the happy book gives you an easy way to put a happy smile on your face um, this is basically like a reckless journal but much much more detailed the pages are crammed full with writing and instructions and prompts and things to do um, for example there aren't just um, creative prompts in here for you to do in the book, there are things like create a bulletin board of things that make you happy, everything like that, and the reason I say a lot of thought went into it is because you guys will probably have seen from my weekly vlogs, although I've actually been a lot better lately than I have been the rest of the summer, um, I've had a real struggle with my anxiety this summer and things have not been great for a lot of the time, um, although thankfully I'm happy to say that 
things are on the up now I think but my parents have been pretty worried about me obviously as you would be um, and so my mum got me this to try and put a smile on my face and to get me to write down all the things that make me happy and I love it I will definitely be using it alongside my wreck this journal I think it's really really sweet my mum and dad also got me some books I always get books for my birthday and Christmas I actually got I can't count <laughs> seven books for my birthday which I was very excited about. The first one is called Habits of the House by Faye Weldon and it's book one of the Love and Inheritance trilogy. I've never ever heard of this series or this author before but it's historical fiction so I'm very excited to find out more about it. I have two books by Anne O'Brien who is another renowned historical fiction writer. Uh, this one's called The Devil's Consort, England's most ruthless queen apparently and it is set in July 1137 so this is a long long time ago and this is the reason that I like this author actually because she tends to write um, in the very very medieval period well the books that I have read of hers have been set in the medieval period which is one of my favorites so excited about that and then the other one is called The Virgin Widow England's Forgotten Queen and this one is about Anne Neville who um, was Warwick the Kingmaker's daughter and this one is set in my absolute favourite time period which is the Plantagenet era so I'm so 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 excited to read this one. The last book that my mum and dad got me is probably the one I'm most excited about it is The King's Curse by Philippa Gregory in a beautiful hardback um, cover. It's brand new, like brand new, it's only just come out a couple of days before my birthday. It's absolutely gorgeous, just like all of Philippa Gregory's books are. This is the latest book in the Cousins War series, which I absolutely love. Again, it's set around the Plantagenet era and into the Tudor era, which are my favourites. Um, you can tell I study history, can't you? I'm such a nerd. Lastly from my parents I got this really lovely pencil case from WH Smith. I actually picked it out myself um, because as you guys will know if you've seen the rest of my videos I am a planner obsessive and I have a lot of Filofax and planner accessories now so I've put a few bits in here to show you. It's actually a cosmetics bag not a pencil case. Um, but it has this pocket here and all of these zip pockets and I thought it would be brilliant for storing my planner stuff in So that's what I'm going to use it for. My boyfriend absolutely spoiled me rotten, but he always does I got this beautiful bracelet which is a little heart and it matches the necklace that he bought me at Christmas You probably won't be able to see it, but I can't faff around with the camera right now <laughs> um he also turned up at my door with a big bunch of flowers which I was really happy about because we all know that most girls like to be given flowers so that was a nice surprise. Um, and he also got me three books that were on my Amazon wish list, which I was probably most excited about out of everything because they're beautiful. He got me this gorgeous copy of Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Um, I read this a few months back and you might remember me saying that I didn't like it very much and it wasn't that I didn't like it, it was I didn't like the subject matter if you know what I mean. I don't really think anyone likes to read about a paedophile if you get my drift <laughs> um, but I do think it was an excellent book and I wanted it in hard copy um, so I had this edition which is the Penguin Essentials edition um, on my Amazon wish list and my boyfriend picked it up for me for my birthday and it's pretty. Then and I almost cried when I saw this because I was so excited he got me the Word Cloud Classics edition of Pride and Prejudice. I had quite a few of these on my Amazon wish list, I think, anyway. Um, I had several different like um, books from this collection. I had several different editions of the same book because there are a couple of collections that I would like to get a lot of books from, um, of classics. And somehow he managed to pick my favourite one, so I was so proud of him um, and so pleased. I think, to be honest, he probably only got it because it was pink. 
um, and he probably thought pink is the best way to go when you're buying presents for Chloe but this is absolutely beautiful I believe it's faux leather I hope it's faux leather um, I think they're about £10 each so it probably is faux leather but it's printed on the front and it's just stunning it's absolutely stunning the papers on the inside are absolutely stunning and they are repeated at the back so i have several copies of pride and prejudice and they have all been read to death so i wanted a beautiful copy that i can have on display and dip in and out of when i want um yeah it's just stunning, I absolutely love it. And having one of these in the flesh has made me realize how much I want to collect several other books from this collection. And finally, again, I squealed when I saw this. He got me the Penguin Threads edition of The Wizard of Oz, which, can we just take a minute? Look at this book. Look at this book, like, it's absolutely stunning. The label on the back even looks like it's been sewn on and the whole cover is um, done as if it's been sewn. The spine is beautiful, it looks like it's been sewn along the spine. It's textured so it actually feels as though it's threads and then the covers. Oh, I mean really? It's absolutely stunning. It is a paperback, but it has flaps and it has them at the back too. And it's done completely as if it was sewn. And I love it so much that I went online this morning and ordered Little Women and The Wind in the Willows because as far as I know, they're the only others in this collection unless I've completely missed something. Um, but I love it that much that I've gone on and ordered it immediately and I can't bear the thought of putting this book in my bookshelf and not having the front on display after I've read it so I'm going to buy one of those acrylic stands and have it on display because it's just beautiful I couldn't stop looking at it yesterday honestly I was carrying them around in a pile like this and I was just showing them to everyone. Every time someone came to see me, because obviously it was my birthday, I was just like showing them these books that my boyfriend had bought me. Um, but yes, I'm a very, very lucky lady and I can't wait for the others to arrive that I ordered today. And yeah, that was what my boyfriend got me and then his family were also really sweet and his mum and dad got me a bottle of Pinot Grigio and some Lindor chocolates. His sister bought me a box of chocolates and one of his nieces bought me a box of my favourite Lindor chocolate as well. So I was absolutely spoilt by them. I was spoilt by my parents and by my boyfriend and by everyone else who gave me a little bit of money as well. My best friend also bought me some nail varnishes and um, a new look voucher which was brilliant because I haven't been able to buy clothes in a very long time. So I'm super excited to go and spend that voucher as well. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed seeing um, the things that I got for my birthday. This is what I got. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. I feel so lucky and so spoiled. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.